Today we're doing a lot of spring cleanup work around the Rescue Mission building and also the new property that they purchased next door, which will house women for the Rescue Mission in the future. We're doing a lot of yard work, rake cleanup, mulching, and work around the facility. This is the second year that the Alumni Global Day of Service has gone on. It actually expanded from a day-long endeavor to a weekend-long endeavor due to all the excitement and the opportunities that were available. You have the confluence of two great rivers, the Shenango and the Susquehanna. I'm down here quite a bit. I have a little run that I, I make down here in the mornings, and I've always noticed that there's some trash that is really hard to pick up because the bank is steep. So we got a bunch of people out here today to clean that up, and hopefully we can do it kind of on an annual event and, and make sure that we keep this part of our neighborhood as clean and, and nice looking as possible. Have uh, six, seven, maybe even 800 people across the world working together, thinking about Binghamton University, tweeting, Facebooking, putting all those pictures up online. I think it'll build a sense of community in our alumni and a sense of pride in our alumni too. I feel very strongly about giving back to the community. And this was a perfect fit for us because the Special Olympic athletes are training for their performance in uh, coming up in May, and it gives them an opportunity to train with our Division I student athletes, and uh, the, we can all give back to the community. Nice shot! Growing up in Binghamton and going to the university here, I feel a sense of commitment to giving back whenever possible and there was such a high demand that a lot of the quotas for the projects were filled long before the deadlines. So it's great to see that enthusiasm for volunteering in the community and I think it will only continue to grow from here.